Hello everyone, welcome to I'll show you how to create a WebSocket server and a WebSocket client. For the server, we'll be using JavaScript, Node.js, Express, and the HTTP module for Node. And to the HTTP module, we'll be passing the uh, Express app as the request listener. For the front end, we will be using the WebSocket API that is built into every browser. So starting off, we'll start off with the back end with the server, obviously. We'll be using the WS module, which is a uh, module for creating WebSocket servers for Node.js, it's, it's fast, it's, it's lightweight, and it's quite popular as you can see. So let's install it. This is the base code, it's a simple express hello world application. And yeah, so um, you can read the docs here, you can learn a lot about WebSockets and how they work with Node and, and everything. Uh, I'll just show you how to set up a, uh, how to add the WebSocket server to our express server so they listen on the same port and it's easy to connect it, right? So we'll be stealing a bit of the code from this example. First, we need to import WebSockets, obviously. Then we need to create a WebSocket server. That's why it's called WSS, WebSocket server. And then when you create a WebSocket server, you need to pass to it some options. Uh, you can pass a port, you can pass a server, which it will listen on uh, as well. We will be passing the server in this case because we already have the, we already have a express application running. So this way they're both running on the same port and it's easy to connect to both. And there's no conflicts because the web sockets use a web socket protocol and not the HTTP protocol. Um, and then we can copy this bit of the code right here. So what this bit of the code does is this bit of the code gets triggered whenever a new connection is made to the server. And then we could, if we like to do that, we can console log uh, a new client connected, connected whenever a new client connects. And then this bit right here, this WS send is going to send a response message. So it's going to send the message to the client that just connected. So we can send the message to this client, uh, welcome new client, right? If we want to do that. So this bit of the code will always get triggered whenever a new connection, whenever a new client connects to our server. Now this bit of the code right here gets triggered whenever the server receives a message from any client. Currently it's set up to just console log received and then the message it received in there. We could add to it some sort of like, um, logic so it's a bit more responsive so we could say ws send so it could send back a message when it receives one and then we could say uh got your message it's and then plus message right so whenever a um so currently what our backend does right Whenever a user connects, it console logs a new client connected. It sends a message to this person that just connected. Welcome new client. Client. And then whenever a message is sent to the server, it console logs received message. And then to the client, it says, got your message. It's And then it sends the message as well. So this is what our backend currently does. It's very simple. It will accept connections, respond to messages. And that's really it. You can add obviously a lot of logic here, but this is the most basic um, thing. So moving on, I have these two HTML files right here. Um, our name time one and client two. Uh, we'll just add some basic vanilla JavaScript in here and then open the files and we'll connect to the WebSocket. Okay, so starting off, um, let's go look at the WebSocket API. The links to all three of these will be in the description so you can read more about that. There's a lot of info here, but what we want to look at is this example and copy it because it does a lot of the stuff we want to do for us, which is, you know, it saves time. So right here, we define a new socket connection. Uh, we, to it, you say WS as the protocol, then you say the IP or the address of the server and then the port in our case it's going to be 3000 whenever a new connection is open uh, this sends a message we don't actually want to send a message so we'll just console.log uh, connected to websocket server um, and then whenever a message is received from this websocket server it currently just console logs the message which is fine besides the 
message and open event listeners. There's a few other ones you can read more about here. There's a closed one. There's an error one. Uh, and uh, there's a few other properties you can check and change. So you can check the, what's the URL. You can check what's the current. Is it ready state? Is the connection open? Is there is it closing, etc, etc. Okay. Also, you can open and close the connection using the close method. Okay, so our client looks fine, so, sort of works. It, it won't really send any messages though. It will just connect to the server. So let's create a function, send a message, and then this, this function will take the socket and then send. So to the socket, it will send a message, hello from client one, right? Because this is client one, right? Right here is client one. And this is a uh, client two. So we'll send a message from client one. Hello from client one to our web socket. So now we can npm start uh, our API, which is this. And then we can also open our index HTML. And it, we can see in here. So here we have listening on port 3000, a new client connected that happened whenever we open the page and then it says connected to WS server message from server. Welcome new client. So if we click this, uh, did I define a send message? Uh, oh yeah. I need to add the send message to the on click of the button. So on click, uh, send message like that. So if we refresh this, you can see another, a new client connected because this one, uh, disconnected, right? This one disconnected because we already opened the page. If we send a message, we get message from server. Got your message. It's hello from client one. That's correct. And here we can see it received the message. Hello from client one. So currently we have a client. Oh, uh, let me. Okay. So currently we have a client that can connect to a WebSocket, a listen when the connection opens, uh, do things when it opens, a listen for messages and also send messages. And we have a server that receives messages, sends a message when a client connects, and also responds with uh, just the echo of the message uh, whenever a message is received. The thing about this though is, so if we copy most of this code to our other client, to client two, and just change this to hello from client two, um, the cl client two, won't receive the message from client one, right? That's that's a bit of an issue because we want these two clients to communicate. So right now, uh, it says a new client connected. So we can send the message here. Got your message. Hello from client two. So the, these two can send the message to the server. Like client one and client two can both send messages to the server and receive messages from the server, but they don't. They can't communicate with each other. For that, we need to broadcast messages to the entire to all connections uh, currently on the server. And we can do that right here. There is an example of how to do it right here. So this example shows you how to broadcast messages to all the connected web sockets, including the one that sent it. And this one shows you how to uh, broadcast messages to every connected web socket with besides the one that sent it, which is what we want, because you don't want to send messages to yourself, you want to send messages to everyone else. But yourself. So we'll copy this bit of the code, go to the server, uh, go to this bit right here. We can remove this. Well, we can respond. We can, re we can respond to the, the, the client that sent, got your, the, that send the message, got your message. And then we can down here respond with the message like this. So currently, we can actually remove this. So currently what this, what this bit of the code right here is going to do is that it will take the WebSocket server. It will go through every client that is connected to this WebSocket server for each of that, for each client connected, it will take the client. It will check if the client is the one that sent the message, which in our case, uh, there's going to be two. So one of them is going to be the one that sent the message. And if it is going to check if the connection is currently open, if the connection is open and the client that is connected is not the one that sent the message, it will send the message. So what this will do is, so if we restart our backend, what this will do is when we send the message from here, we will receive it here. Hello from client one. If we send the message from client two, 
we'll receive it in client one. If we had 10 more other clients, all of the, all of the other ones besides the one sending the message will receive the message. So that we have a sort of giant chat room where everyone uh, listening will receive the message. Um, it's it's like, a, it's like we have a group chat basically. What we created right now is a group chat. Now, this is just the most basic structure. You could all, you should, if you're making a chat app or anything, obviously uh, integrate this a lot better and you should, you know, maybe have like an array of people connected, maybe have authentication. Um, instead of just sending a message, you would maybe send objects, uh, which will contain like the room name, the message, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but that's for your own application. That's a very, you know, that varies from app to app. This is just the most basic setup for a WebSocket, which has multiple uses. And the main one, uh, and the main used one is a chat application. Hopefully now you understand WebSockets to some degree. All the links will be in the description. Thank you for watching and goodbye.